UtahGunExchange.com, the nation's patriot marketplace. Buy, sell, trade. Is cutting things your thing? Watch till the end of this video to see Blade HQ cut some things. I've partnered with Olight to bring you these videos and a special offer. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Josh Show 2018. I'm here with James at VanQuest again. Hey Shane, thank you so much for, for uh, stopping by. Hey man, good, it's always a pleasure. Again. It's good to see you again. Certainly. Uh, I like the stuff you're showing us so far today. We had a little pre-video look at the stuff. It looks pretty good, pretty exciting. Um, I want to hear about it, so let's get into it, man. Awesome, sure. Uh, this year we got a few uh, uh, very exciting backpacks. Um, the Ibex series, our original Ibex series, was a 20 liter and a 30 liter. And over the, the past maybe three years, we collected enough uh, customer feedback. So we decided to give uh, the Ibexes an upgrade. So this year we are debuting the 35 and 26. Uh, it's a 35 liter and a 26 liter uh, uh, Ibex. The, the overall uh, form factor are similar to our previous generation. However, there are lots and lots of upgrades, especially on the suspension system. Uh, let's take a look at the back side. This year we're making the uh, IPEX 35 with four position adjustable shoulder harness um, adjustment. And the waist strap are a lot more, are a lot beefier. These are designed to carry up to maybe uh, 30, 40 pounds of uh, uh, loads in this backpack. Three grab handles, so you can carry them in three different directions. And at the front, there is a, a shock core field with a uh, Hypolon duck foot. Yeah, I actually like that a lot because you, as you were saying before, stuff a jacket down there, it's not push, pushing all the way it, through. Exactly, exactly. And if you want to hold something, you know, um, a pair of shoes, um, yeah. it, 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 it is going to hold it very, very uh, sec uh, securely. Yeah. And on the side, there is hydration and tool pockets. Uh, there are two additional pockets on the bottom and hook and loop attachment on the top. So lots of organization over there. And the 3D pockets, two 3D pockets on top, and one of them is a pass through into the main compartment. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Pass through to the main compartment. So without having to unzip it, the entire compartment, perhaps have those zippers you know, start on their way down and lose some stuff. Yeah, you get exactly. this one little cubby hole that you can fish stuff out of e if you choose to do that. E exactly, cool. exactly. And this year we're also uh, uh, introducing the gear lock. So it can, you can use it in conjunction with the tool loop on the bottom. And this is to hold one of these, uh, uh, I mean, it can be, yeah, can be tracking poles or like a pair of uh, uh, axes. Okay, cool. And let me wear it really quick. Hmm. The waist strap is pulled forward, so it's a lot easier to, to, to make adjustments. Yes. And, and the sternal strap, uh, these are elastic, so it kind of moves along uh, with your, your body yeah. as you're breathing in and out. And yeah, exactly, exhausted. exactly. Good. And with the adjustable torso length uh, shoulder harness, I mean, it can fit uh, pretty much um, most people's uh, body size. Good. Yeah. Good, man. And let me take it off and show you the inside. So it is still a fillet open uh, system. Lots of hook and loop attachment. These are laser cut molly with a made of hook and loop material. So you can use it not only for traditional molly, but also for one of these, uh, I mean, it can be medical pouch. What organizer? So, oh, cool. Yeah, I have one attached here. So yeah. hook and loop. This is a hook and loop to molly conversion um, converter. You guys introduced it's, that a couple of years ago, right? E exactly, exactly. Yep. And um, yeah, they allow you to customize it in, inside any way you like. Yeah. So for hydration or a laptop or a uh, uh, armor plate, it can go in here. And behind this pocket is, is one of these polycarbonate frames that we use to support the back panel of the suspension system. This is a very, very lightweight material, flexible along one uh, direction, but not flexible along the other one. 
it can twist and turn along your uh, along your movement. Okay. Um, very very lightweight. It's only two mil. And we added these uh, channels. It's called virtual stays to give it a very good rigidity. This is made of a PC material, um, polycarbonate. Okay, cool. Yep. So the Ibex 35 and there's a 26 as well. Yes, so we have an Ibex 20, uh, 35 and an Ibex uh, 26. 26 and 35, they have pretty much the same uh, internal configuration. The only difference is the 26 because it's a shorter back, so it doesn't have the uh, torso length adjustment harness system. But everything else is our are pretty much same as the uh, 35. Cool. And we'll now move to Go ahead. the Katara backpack. I actually like this a lot. Yeah. It's, a, it's a great size, but it's got some cool features I want you to explain. Go sure, ahead. certainly. Um, our original Katara was a sync pack, um, but due to a customer recommendation, we decided to make it into a backpack. We increased the size from 14 uh, liter now to a 16. Yeah. So it is a double shoulder backpack, but convertible to either right or left shoulder sling bag. And these shoulder straps are removable. They are just held together. They are held together using a vel uh, Velcro. Yeah. So there's a strap right there. That's how that goes on. Exactly. Nice. And you can take this one off and put it back and convert it back to a backpack. Mm -hmm. I love that, man. And it's a 16 liter uh, size backpack. Uh, still lots of, uh, lots of space organization, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lo lots of space and organization. Um, the front area, this is where I store the other shoulder strap. Okay. Um, I'm in section with a keychain. And these are Hypolon uh, Multi Air. It's a multi compatible attachment system. And at the front, these are also multi compatible, but this is uh, Cordura faced. So you've used multiple different types of Cordura, is that right? You've got a 1000D here, and then is this 500? Exactly. And uh, this year we decided to use 1000D uh, uh, on highway area. Yes. And uh, 500D on uh, the rest of the, the area to save some weight. Gotcha. And this bag, the main compartment, has a three-way pocket. So when you use uh, this bag as a sling pack, once you uh, swing it, to, uh, to the front of your body, you can have access from either side, depending on how you set up the sting pack. And if you're not using it, you can roll it up and tuck it to the bottom, and you have a full area for hook and loop attachment. This is a computer, tablet, and hydration compartment. It's padded, uh, high, high visibility interior, and this is a, a, a hydration loop attachment oh, okay. system. Cool. Uh, one thing we want to, one detail I want to touch on there is that this actually, oh yes. yeah, we can actually close that off. This is one of the cool things about it. Exactly. Close that whole thing off so when you open it from the side, you jump in there and this is actually retaining all your gear. Exactly. Or if you prefer, you shut that, almost got your fingers, sorry there James. Yes. And <laughs> you, you shut it like that and then you've got, right. you, know, you could have it like this and it's just a big sort of a loose pocket that it might work for a certain gear, you know, you just right. kind of have this kind of loose pocket there, or again, like he said, roll it all the way down, tuck it away, use the hook and loop for other material. Exactly. And this bag has a concealed carry compartment at the front. So once you swing it forward, you pull it open from the side, and there it is. So yeah, you've, you've re repositioned your, your, um, your concealed carry port, instead of having it back here at the very back of the bag. Which is a little bit harder to access. Yeah, but that's traditionally where we've seen them. Now yes. you brought it forward from there. I like that idea a lot. Yes. And it's uh, bi-directional, so if you're setting it up for left shoulder, then you access from the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's held together using a hook and loop. I like it. Very, very secure. So this is the uh, Katara 16. Backpack. I think that was going to do really well. It's a really good size. Mm -hmm. uh, I love the features on it. I love that you can remove either strap that you choose and then set it up to be a sling if you want to, or just leave it as a straight backpack. It works either way, man. Exactly. Like very good. Exactly. And uh, yeah, it, it's all due to a uh, customer feedback. Um, you know, after two three years, you pretty much get enough information on what customer wants. Yeah, 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 totally. And next, we're going to talk about our duffel backpack. 
um, customer they have been asking for a, a duffel bag, uh, a carry-on size uh, bag that is also convertible to a backpack. So this year we're finally delivering it. Um, this is a 46 liter carry-on compatible um, backpack. Uh, it's called a Skycap. Mm -hmm. And they come in two colors, one is black, one is gray. Okay. And both of them have uh, an RFID security, uh, security pocket for your passport. Okay, nice. Yep. And the compression strap at the front, if you're not carrying that much uh, um, items when you travel, you use these as compression. And it's a very, very slim carry-on size with a handle on the bottom, so, mm -hmm. you, so it provides you easy adjustment uh, yeah. on the overhead storage bin. Okay, gotcha. Repositioning it and so forth. Yes. Excellent. And the side handle carry, this is a luggage handle pass-through, and you can use, uh, put, it on, uh, put, uh, put it through uh, your rolling luggage's uh, hand, uh, handle. The shoulder straps are, are concealable, you can unbuckle these and tuck it back to the back compartment, which also doubles as a hydration compartment. Okay, perfect. Just in case you want to use it for, uh, for a short uh, hiking trip or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. But it's, it's nice because, again, this is going to be luggage. You're going to take this on an airplane, potentially get the straps put away. Exactly. Just use it as a duffel. Less uh, um, snagging. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Less stuff to snag on things. Cool. E exactly. And the main compartment, Oh, let's take a look at the uh, computer compartment first. Uh, at the airport, you need quick access to two computers because they are going to, uh, I mean, you need to go through security. So the computer compartment is over here. Uh, it holds a 15-inch laptop. And on the back, we have a padded compartment for um, tablets. Oh, OK, cool. And admin area. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. All your gear, all your, all your little bits and pieces. Yes. Cool, all the organization you need. Yes. All put together in there. Good. Yep. And let's take a look at the uh, the main compartment. It's high visibility mm -hmm. with two large mesh pockets on both sides. Yep. A lot of space in there. Lots and lots of space, yeah. yeah. And the top pocket, this one you can use it for toiletry okay. uh, or a little organizer. Uh, just easy access from the outside. Oh, that's great then also kind of mashes up so it's not necessarily taking space away from you if you want to use the entire capacity down there. Exactly. Is that basically what this is yes. as well? This one is slightly larger and mm -hmm. it's on the bottom. I usually use it for a pair of uh, sandals or oh, okay. I use it for uh, p uh, power cords and stuff. Yeah, okay. Power supplies. Yeah. A little organizational space. Very good. Yes. Separating your gear from the, the main compartment. Cool. Yes. And if you're not going to be using the compression straps, all these can be tucked away. We have four little pockets oh. over here, so you can tuck them away and create a very, very clean, clean look of the uh, bag when you travel. Excellent. All these can be tucked away. Cool. The Skycap 46. It's nice, man. Yeah, this one is Skycap 46. Um, it's going to be available in May. The MSRP is going to be 199 Okay. Cool. I like it. All right. And uh, pretty much all the products going to be... Oh, actually, the Skycap is going to be available in March. March? Okay. Yes. All this right. one's going to be uh, available the earliest among all the new products. Okay, cool. Yes. Cool. So we've got a lot of interesting stuff to see. There's a big uh, sort of backpacking pack as well that you just introduced. Yes. Uh, I want to get some information on that. So. Give us just a second, we're gonna cut, and we're gonna show you what that thing looks like, too. All right, Mike, so we got this backpacking pack, basically, from VanQuest now. Oh, yeah. Tell us all about it, man. All right, for new for 2018, this is the Macor 45, 45 liter internal frame backpack. Um, right here on the, the start, we're gonna see your adjustable five position shoulder harness with very, very stiff padded and great for weight control and retention. So you're going to have that ideal 80% on your hips, 20% on your shoulders. Um, we really did test it to a weight beyond what it could take. Okay. Um, we're not going to say what you, what, <laughs> that crazy weight, but right. the target weight's about 38 pounds. It's six pounds empty. So okay. 38 pounds for a 45 liter pack, actually pretty good. Um, usually you get a little bit less than that. All right. 
Another key to that would be the internal frame. So I'm gonna actually pop that for you. So you have hydration compatible right there. And in the frame pocket, you'll notice something right away. This is 500 denier Cordura nylon. So the Cordura was necessary just because even though this ripstop would work just fine and the frame doesn't have any sharp corners, it is possible over time. I have another bag that basically wore a hole right there and right there. So on the top and the bottom of the frame pocket, we have that. So under here you can see this is a polycarbonate frame. It's a little difficult to take out right now. But kind of similar to what we saw on the Ibex over there. Yes, exactly. Okay. Pretty much. 2.5 millimeter and rigidly supported. So since we're already on the inside of the bag, you kind of notice something. There's a strap right here that limits the travel of the backpack, of the zippers, taking you right to the first zippered pocket. So this is our tough mesh zippered pocket. It's just ergonomically makes a lot of sense. Um, secondary on this panel here, let's just zip that up. If we move down here, we can see a zipper and this is for your external pocket pass through. And what you do is if you have to get to your rain fly on the top of your pack, unzip this guy, pass right through. Okay. Additionally, from top to bottom, internal is 26 inches. If you're gonna run an SBR and you have a muzzle device, this will give you an extra two and a half inches. The depth oh, in here, cool. yeah. you can kind of see the depth of this pocket is an extra like two and a half right okay, around there. Okay, all right. So we got those guys there. Um, on the front, this is the beaver tail. This large panel here is a removable, reversible beaver tail. So we have those two on the side. If I pop one, pop two, it is statically supported by this G-hook. It's a acetyl G-hook. On the front, we have a sport kind of mode. So this is similar to the Ibex 30 mm -hmm. with the addition of the duck foot. So this is like a little drawbridge made out of Hypelon to stop whatever you're gonna put in there. Right. On the front, we can see clearly, these are Duraflex Elastolocks. So they're one hand cam in combination with these adjustable tool loops that okay. can go all the way up to the size to support a ski. So you can have a pair of skis on here, obviously an ax, a shovel, a hatchet, any trail right, tools you need. Right, right, right. This is included hardware. It fits on vertical one inch, so you can use it here. You can use it on the inside of the bag, which I'll show you in a second. And you can use it on this side of the beaver tail, which would be up here. So gotcha. you can use it here as well as this opposite side, this is the tactical side. So being reversible, you can flip this over, put it on the outside. Also, it has a map pocket, pretty generously sized, perfectly sized for the small sappy plate, oh, right nice. in there. With an own little internal frame, so even if you put a plate in there, it wouldn't be rubbing the corners up gotcha. against you. You wouldn't gotcha. feel it. But gotcha. the coolest thing is tinkering with everything, and that's what we do as designers. Yeah. I was just screwing with this thing uh, early on, and. I realized if I did this and then incorporated this guy into some tabs we added later, we could make a stock pocket. And this stock pocket will, su will support your rifle, your bow, and this is part of the durable arms management system. So, beaver tail, beaver dam. <laughs> Dude, way too on the nose, we had to do it. So, you got the stock pocket coming up here and you have a seven positions to put your one inch retention straps, which are included with the contrasting orange release because it's right there in the mail. Perfect. It just makes it safer, makes it quicker, easier. Like the other way to do it is to pop these guys. We'll go back to the other bag now. And if you want to cover an optic and the action of the rifle, you can still use those retention straps and throw it up like that. Okay, okay, yeah. Right. So there's a couple the of options. Stock exposed, but yeah. you're protecting other parts of the gun. A couple of options for you. Um, I'll just do the top one here. But something that we've changed up a little bit is 500 denier Cordura and 1,000 denier only on the bottom panel. Okay. So that's that's the part that typically gets the most amount of wear, and that would be right there. So if this is 1,000 D. The bottom of the water bottle pocket's 1,000 D. The rest is 500. Gotcha. And of course you have your standard. You know, sleeping bag, uh, ground tent, anything like that, right. attachments. Right. But it's all the little things that make up a VanQuest bag. You know, when we did this, this rifle carrier or uh, arm support, the thing is, there's a zipper pocket here we didn't cover yet. But if you just have exposed zipper, this is right where safety controls and often operating rods are on rifles. So mm -hmm. if we didn't put this flap of Cordura, that would be the weakest part and the first thing to fail. Gotcha. So we always think forward about that kind of stuff. Very good, very good. Very thorough. Yeah, so this bag, 45 liters. Um, again, six pounds empty, comfortable target weight, about 38 pounds. Okay. 
Um, you can go longer and you can definitely go heavier. It's up to you. If you properly adjust it to your height and you're wearing the bag like you should, with good weight management internally, you won't even feel it. Gotcha. It's been in product development and testing for two solid years and has everything you need. I mean, the compression straps on the side, top, lower, laser cut Molly Hypalon Air, Molly Air for uh, you know expansion, dedicated one liter pockets with user replaceable shock cord. So if this gets damaged or lost, you just yep. put another piece of shock cord through there. It's, it's pretty easy. When you're not using these guys, if you take the beaver tail off, you save half a pound in weight. And you can tuck this away, right into this little pocket on the side. So now it's not dangling and getting caught. Mm -hmm. It goes all the way in there. But yeah, just a pretty modular system. So great hiking pack, scout pack, yeah. search and rescue, trail maintenance. And again, this guy will be available in May. May, all right. And we're looking at a 270 retail, available in black, wolf gray, and coyote tan. And coyote tan, okay, yeah. that was the other question. Absolutely. Good. Uh, looks good, man. Really appreciate the walkthrough and all oh, yeah. the details. Absolutely. And again, as always, I'm always impressed with the stuff you guys oh, do. Oh, yeah. And like Thank I said, you. And like you said, this is thorough. Oh, well yes. thought out. Meticulous, but not overly complex. You know, yeah, there's yeah. even more stuff. We don't have time. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, man. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, all right, man. we are at VanQuest at SHOT Show 2018. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Holly with Blade HQ. This is my Mora companion, and my favorite thing to cut is stale French baguettes.